All right, Faraz, thank you very much. As you could see, very sunny where Faraz was, and I just enjoyed the sunshine today. I got out, I got to a pool. Yeah. I was very proud of myself for. Wow, for, you did all that. I did all you of that. In. Oh man, it was one of the most beautiful days we've seen this summer. It's gorgeous. Perhaps. Perfect. Yeah, this is. Yeah, because it wasn't too perfection. hot. It wasn't too yep. hot. Yeah, the humidity is fairly low, so that means at night it'll cool down just enough. You can open the windows up, so mm. we'll call them mild nights and hot days and that's what we'll have once again for tomorrow. Looking at the temperatures right now, we're in the mid to upper 70s with the exception of Detroit holding on to 82 and up towards Mount Clemens at 76, Pontiac at 79, Ann Arbor at 79 and over towards Windsor, you're at 77 degrees. Let's zoom out and show you the perspective of this, what's happening with the weekend. High pressure stays in control for the rest of today also into tomorrow and for the majority of Monday. But there's one change of Monday. This area of high pressure is going to drift off towards the east and the return flow. If you look over here towards Omaha, uh, you can see the heat is going to move in. So we are expecting the 90s to return to start next week. So here's a look at where we go from here. The beautiful weather sticks around for the rest of the weekend and then the humidity is going to spike on Monday and Tuesday. So therefore that summer heat returns with highs near 90. And it's not the greatest chance, but there is a chance of seeing some showers and storms, some of which they can flare up in this type of heat and humidity. They can pack a punch, so we'll keep an eye on them, though, because we can really use some rainfall. High temperature today, we're still there at around 82. Started off this morning at 59, and I'm thinking we'll do it all over again for tonight into tomorrow. So temperatures stay in the 80s for another great evening. Winds will be fairly light from the northeast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour or so. Looking at tonight's forecast, the 50s are back. Maybe areas like Lapeer could fall into the 40s at 49 for a morning start. Look at 50 degrees over in Ann Arbor. So some areas of Metro Detroit is actually going to be cool and then we bounce back. We'll get numbers back into the 80s fairly quickly for tomorrow. This uh, dry air mass that we have, it tends to warm fairly quickly. So it's going to be just another nice day. Let me jump you ahead into Monday now. Highs are going to climb back near 90 degrees. There's going to be a weak disturbance that's going to move through, and the model's not picking up on it for here as far as Metro Detroit, the chance of rain. But if you look closely way up here towards the northeast, there is a potential for some instability to kind of move in to Metro Detroit. This is going to be for Monday night going into Tuesday morning. Not the greatest chance of rain, but it is an opportunity that's there, and we could do that again on Tuesday. So that's what you'll see depicted there in the forecast. But we'll have highs that are going to be hot for Monday and Tuesday. After that cold front gets done with us, it drops us to the low 80s. That'll be Wednesday and Thursday. But it looks like another heat wave is coming together, and it may be here by this time next weekend. All right, Mike, thank you.